What to expect on a food hygiene inspection? When can an inspector visit? What are their powers? And what can I expect following an inspection? The inspector has the legal power to inspect food premises at any reasonable time. On arrival, they will tell you who they are, the purpose of their visit and show their identification. They will also confirm the business registration details match those held on the council's records. If the details are incorrect, the inspector will require the operator to register the food business without delay. It is a legal requirement to make sure the council always has the correct information, including the correct name and address of the food business operator. The inspector has powers to enforce food safety and food standards law and, where necessary, will issue enforcement notices, close unsafe food businesses and provide evidence for the prosecution of those who break the law. In most cases, an inspection report will be issued telling the responsible person about any legal contraventions and what must be done within a reasonable time to put things right. A written summary is provided at the end of the inspection and within 10 days a full report. The report includes confirmation of the hygiene rating awarded and may contain recommendations of good practice. What will the inspector be looking at? The inspector will assess the level of compliance with food safety and food standards law. They will also undertake a spot check for health and safety hazards. If any safety hazards are identified, they will be brought to your attention and where serious, they will be reported to the health and safety inspectors. The inspector will assess the level of food safety compliance against three key criteria. These are confidence in management, food hygiene and safety, the structure of the premises including cleaning. Confidence in management. The inspector will request to see your written food safety procedures and records of the important food safety checks you routinely carry out. For example, this could be the Food Standards Agency Safer Food Better Business Guide, but may also include other records such as your fridge temperature checks, cleaning tasks or your food allergen charts. The inspector will expect you to have recorded in writing your safe methods for preparing food at all stages, including food delivered to customers. Your day-to-day -day practices will be examined for evidence that you are following your written procedures in practice, for example, how you actually store, prepare and cook food. The inspector will examine that you have checked and identified any of the 14 food allergens as ingredients in your menu and that you have procedures in place for dealing with any food allergy requests from customers. Food handlers and managers will be expected to demonstrate a good understanding of the basic principles of food hygiene and safety and evidence of formal training for the food handlers you employ, such as the Level 2 Certificate for Catering of Food Allergen Training may be requested. In addition, the inspector will consider management's attitudes towards hygiene and food safety and the track record of the business and their willingness to comply. Food hygiene and safety. The inspector will examine your routine practices and procedures and temperature control. This includes your safe methods for controlling the risk of cross-contamination, including your method of disinfection for food and hand contact surfaces. How you control the risk of cross-contamination forms a major part of the inspection, so you should expect to be questioned about the control measures you have in place. In particular, the inspector will examine the food storage methods, including the temperature controls and stock control. Your food preparation methods, including the type of food you cook and how you ensure it is cooked safely, your cooling and reheating methods, and your safe working practices that ensure your food is always safe to eat. Structure of the premises. The inspector will examine the condition of the structure and the internal finishes. Particular attention is given to those areas where food is prepared, treated or processed. This would include the conditions within food preparation and storage areas. 
The layout, design and the available facilities are all important. For example, the kitchen layout, lighting, ventilation, facilities for hand washing and for washing food and equipment and the supply of hot and cold running water. The standard of cleaning and maintenance of food equipment will be examined closely. Particular attention is given to the cleanliness of food and hand contact surfaces and the condition of the equipment. The inspector will look for any signs of pests by using a torch to lighten up otherwise dark places. Your pest control records, including records of your own checks, should be made available. The business arrangements for the storage and disposal of waste, including any waste cooking oil, must be shown. You may be asked to provide a waste transfer note, for example. Don't forget, the inspector's findings will determine the food hygiene rating the business receives. Alongside the food hygiene inspection, the inspector will also be checking compliance with food standards law. If any food standard issues are brought to your attention, this will not affect your hygiene rating. However, these are still important matters and you will need to address any legal contraventions. During the inspection, the inspector will check to see if food is described accurately. Is the food what you say it is? If you make any claims about the food on your menu, are they truthful? For example, halal, organic, homemade and so on. They will check whether you are telling your customers how to obtain allergen information for the food you sell. This includes customers ordering over the phone or online. A check will take place to see if you are using any genetically modified food ingredients and where necessary, whether you are declaring this on your menu. This includes cooking oil, which can often contain genetically modified ingredients. For any food businesses selling pre-packed food, the inspector will check the food is correctly labelled. We do hope this video has helped you to understand what to expect on a food hygiene inspection. The inspector will also provide advice and guidance during an inspection, so if you have any questions, please do ask. For any further information, please visit the food pages on Westminster City Council's website.